Let's talk about the Arnab Goswami case. Supreme Court is hearing Arnab Goswami's appeal challenging November 9th order by Bombay High Court, refusing him interim bail in the 2018 Bettman to suicide case. The argument resumed at uh, 2 p.m. this afternoon. There were some strong observations by Justice Chandrachur. Justice asked Kapil Sibbal uh, that allegations against Goswami as uh, the deceased uh, had a total of 6.45 crores due and Goswami was to pay 88 lakh rupees. Now, for Section 306 abetment, there needs to be uh, actual incitement. There has to be active incitement and encouragement. If money is owed to a person, uh, is that a case of abetment to suicide? We are dealing with personal liberty here and because he was owed money, Nai committed suicide due to financial stress. Is this a case of uh, custodial questioning is what uh, the justice has asked. The Bombay High Court has written a 50 plus page uh, order but not dealt with the ingredients of the offence. It will be a travesty of justice if bail is not granted uh, while FIR is pending. And my colleague uh, Yogesh Sheetal is joining us uh, with more updates on this uh, uh, important story. Uh, Yogesh, while uh, the court is still in session and the case is being heard, uh, how do we read the initial observations made by Justice Chandrachur? Uh, uh, they seem to suggest that uh, Arnab Goswami may have been unfairly treated in this case. Uh, that's true, uh, Shubhendu, because we know that uh, the liberty, in fact, the right to life and li uh, right to liberty is one of the main uh, fundamental rights in uh, granted by the Constitution of, of India. And the Supreme Court has basically expressed displeasure over the way the high courts have handled uh, these cases which are, are connected to uh, personal liberty. And that is a very, very important uh, observation by the just uh, by Justice Chandrachur. And you know uh, that the division bench is currently hearing the appeal that, has, uh, that is filed by Arnav Goswami against Bombay High Court's recent order in which the uh, uh, Bombay High Court refused to grant any relief. Now, as far as major arguments uh, arguments are concerned in the Supreme Court today, uh, the, uh, basically, Arno uh, Goswami's advocate, Hari Salve, has said that uh, the key things is the interference of the state of Maharashtra in this case, because when a summary report is filed by police and magistrate has already accepted the report, then on what basis the case was reopened, reopened and what basis he was arrested, and the way he was arrested, that is itself a question, itself raises a lot of questions, and the way uh, Home Minister Anil Deshmukh has made the statements in the Maharashtra Assembly and later on he also said that he will uh, investigate this case. So the other thing that was or uh, that were also argued by the Bombay High Court and that is now vehemently being argued by, by Harris Solve in the Supreme Court. So this is a very important thing we have to see. Apart from that, as far as other arguments are concerned, the Nike family has already said that tomorrow uh, uh, the matter will be uh, will be uh, heard in the Sessions Court because uh, when the Justice Chandrachur has basically asked that whether he uh, the family was unaware of the submission uh, by the police, whether uh, the family was not aware of the a summary report that was filed by police. So they said uh, that uh, they uh, they got to know through Twitter. They didn't. Uh, they they were not informed by the proper channel by the proper authority. So that is also one of the important things. Now it remains to be seen that how Supreme Court uh, looks into the uh, into the content of the case. But one thing uh, the uh, Justice Chandrachur has also said that basically the question of FIR. This is the main thing which uh, Supreme Court is going to hear. And I think uh, 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 it will not take uh, much time uh, when the judgment will be delivered by the Supreme Court. And uh, as far as observations are concerned, you have also right say there are very very strong observation by the Supreme Court as far as uh, liberty of a person liberty of a civilian liberty of a people of, of a person of India uh, the citizen of India are concerned right yeah. uh, you so also help us understand uh, the legal strategy adopted by Arnab Goswami's counsel uh, Bombay High Court had asked Arnab Goswami to approach the Sessions Court lower court for bail however the council has approached the Supreme Court uh, in the case help us understand uh, how does that uh, work uh, for Arnab Goswami See, Shubhendu, this is a very, uh, you know, a very significant question you have asked to see. Bombay High Court started the hearing of this case on Thursday and it took uh, three days, back to the subsequently three days, entire whole day the uh, the hearing was on and after third day, after uh, on Saturday basically, this, uh, the High Court has said that under 493, they can go back to so, so two sessions court. On which the Mahesh Jetmalani, defense advocate, had also said that the judgment could have been delivered on the very first day if uh, uh, High Court had to, to decide that the matter has to be heard by the sessions court. So, in fact, three days were hearing uh, happened in the Bombay High Court. So that also raises a very important question, and that is, I think, that is one of the reasons why Supreme Court had ma has uh, made this observation. Apart from that, we know that there is a, a certain procedures under CRPC Code of Criminal Procedure under which the entire proceedings, entire detention, arrest, arguments, uh, deposition of witnesses, deposition of uh, uh, electronic evidences, such things are 
comprehensively dealt in the CRPC and under CRPC basically the arguments are own. So now as far as Supreme Court is concerned, Supreme Court is going through the only the basic thing, the question of the question of FIR because uh, this is the main thing because heaviest corpus please file this is one of the reads, one of one of the five reads that is very important reads right. that has been filed by Arnago Swami in the Bombay High Court because only Bombay High Court is competent authority to hear this case. Sessions Court cannot hear read, read, read petition whether it's heaviest corpus or whether it's certiorari or whether other okay. reads. So Bombay High Court was the right platform but Bombay High Court didn't hear that case. So that is one of the reasons why the heaviest corpus plea has been challenged in the Supreme Court. So it depends, uh, you know, it remains to be seen whether High Court is going to hear that uh, heaviest corpus plea or interim relief or because because, High Court, uh, because Supreme Court has a very wide range of uh, you know jurisdiction, so it will be very interesting to see that what Supreme Court pronounced today. And Yogesh, yes, finally, uh, what can you share about the condition of uh, Arnab Goswami? A few days ago, uh, uh, there were reports about him not being treated uh, uh, well in the jail. Uh, what updates do we have on that front? What action or steps have been taken uh, in that regard? See, uh, Shubhendu, there is no clear communication from the authorities, uh, from the uh, Raigad police or Mumbai police or from the Maharashtra police. But recently we had seen that government of Maharashtra had also had a word with uh, uh, Home Minister Anil Deshmukh and said that uh, uh, he uh, uh, raised concern over his health. And also recently we had seen some uh, some chief ministers of different states have also dialed Home Minister of Maharashtra's number to ensure that Arno Goswami is being treated uh, well. Uh, so these are the things. And as far as the actual position, actual condition of Arno Goswami is concerned, we are are uh, completely in a dark we have okay. not been communicated the media has not been communicated but what we are we have been given to understand since the governor has uh, uh, taken note of this i think the situation uh, uh, would not be very bad and uh, hmm. it remains to be seen that when he'll be coming out after the judgment so it remains to be seen that what would be the judgment and after the further course of action will be decided all right there uh, yogesh appreciate you joining us with all those updates